Rubicon just went public today, having a great first day of trading. The stock priced at 15, kind of on the low end of the plan range, but then they opened up and they have been going up ever since. They're already up about 30% this morning. And joining me now is the CEO, Frank Adante. So let's talk about your company, because I'm sure a lot of people aren't really familiar with what you do. And you automate advertising online. So walk us through that. A customer comes to you and says, I have an ad, but I have nowhere, no idea where to go with it on the internet. Sure, so if, if you look at any other major market where billions of dollars exchange hands between thousands or more buyers and sellers, those markets have all moved towards automation. It's happened in financial services, travel, retail, ticketing, the list goes on and on. So with, with digital advertising, uh, you've got trillions of different web pages and, and millions and millions of users that are trying to connect with over $50 billion of digital advertising spend alone. So you've got lots of different buyers, lots of different sellers, and what our platform does is it automates the buying and selling process uh, between sellers of advertising, like the largest websites and applications in the world, like Wall Street Journal, The Street, uh, Turner as well, and they're trying to connect with all the you know, 100,000 advertisers that purchase through our platform. You have, though, had a history of losses. Now, last year you lost uh, 9.2 million, the year before 2.4 million. What can you do to turn that around? So on an EBITDA, uh, level, we have, we have been EBITDA positive. Uh, so we haven't raised any capital in three years, and we've been operating off of our own cash. So we've been investing. This is a $100 billion advertising automation opportunity. So we've been investing in expanding uh, internationally, as an example, uh, into existing formats uh, or additional formats like uh, mobile, uh, video, as, as examples. So, so we're, we're still in investment mode. Now, you bring up a good point, video. I saw that you're not quite in video yet. How far are you into video? Because that really is where the, the money is. Well, actually, uh, $51 billion is being spent in digital advertising today, so in the market that we're participating in. Uh, the overall, the largest portion of the market is television, so that's certainly on the horizon. Uh, we look at video as a stepping stone to get to television. Okay. Okay. What about mobile? Because I know that you're fairly new to mobile. Sure, so we, we launched our mobile product into the market last year, and we've now signed over 170 sellers on our platform, as well as 100 buyers. So again, it's companies like you know, NBC or Turner. Uh, they're buying and selling media with companies like Omnicom or WPP or Rocket Fuel or Critio across all different forms of media. So we enable you know, both display and mobile today. So I would say that with your company, it does sound like you're really in the early growth stages. Your expenses are uh, expected to go up. Would you say that that's a fair characterization? Well, the, you know, the reason that we're standing here today you know, with a public offering is to raise capital so we can invest. You know, again, it's a $100 billion market opportunity, and there's still a lot of market to go after. And why is someone going to choose you over, say, one of your competitors like Google, which is pushing hard on this front? So Google built their platform for the sale of their own inventory. So Google's a competitor to any seller of advertising and to many of the buyers. Uh, where we're, we're in the independent platform that powers the part of the market that's, that's not Google. So you know, Google's you know, certainly an important company and they've you know, done a great job, but you know, the market needs a, a transparent platform, you know, similar to uh, the way I'd kind of describe it is uh, there's American Express in credit card processing, which is kind of like the closed network, and then there's Visa MasterCard, which is that open platform that anybody can participate in. All right, well, we wish you good luck. Competition, always a good thing. That's Frank Adante of Rubicon having a great first day trading here at the New York Stock Exchange. And I'm Deborah Borchart with The Street.